Hello, everyone, and welcome to Boater Plays Something, being recorded during the Citadel that is, boom, right there over at Insane Games TV. That link will be below if you want to watch live. This is basically going to be a stream thing that is going to be cut up, and this is being dropped in front of every episode. Alright, what have we got? He was trying to get out. And something ripped him apart. Got a jolly place to go exploring. Oh, bloody hell. I don't want this. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. <sighs> hell. Alright, um... Gonna want that as well. Can use that one around here. Got too much stuff, so let's see. Uh, sort by... I'll go all... Sort by weight. Um... Dish the rusty shovel. Uh, a mildly effective way of convincing people to lie down. All right. Uh, a whole bunch of lead pipes. All these ones that are about to fall apart anyway. We'll just get rid of those. Right. Oh, body L. Okay. Um. Well, that's all food, that's all weapons, that's drugs. Where? Hold on, we've got that rancid stew and drop that. Uh, can cause food poisoning. We don't want that, so we'll drop that. Drop that. Moldy bread. Find some rented meat and you can make a really revolting sandwich. Can't wait for something to come out of this ominous doorway. Right, I'm trying to find out how to equip the torch. Ah, uh, here we are. Let that be light. Power cells can be replaced. Right, we got that. Display in the third one. Right, a fair amount of stuff here. Right, all that for a rotten mushroom. Nothing worse than wasting a lockpick on something. It's about to be uh, garbage. Uh, lockpick broke. Found all those. I hope my torch doesn't go out. Oh, Can't bloody hell. Can't enjoy of rats down here. I hope I don't die feeling terribly stupid. That's my biggest fear, I think. And what's your biggest fear? Something right, we don't want a worry about non-lethal right now, so uh, let's drop that in there. Doc, why not use a torch? Oh, bloody hell! Frying pan broke, but that's fine. Uh, I. Mm. We. Alright, that's not so bad. For some reason, I th thought we didn't quite have enough of those. Oh, bloody hell! Mate! Oh. I 
したのオーブンウィッドマッシュルームズグレイトナバーワンオーバーダーヨーレッツウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリーバウトウォーリー Oh, but they definitely notice it. Uh, let's get something a little heavier in here. Ma Bear, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're having a good time. We're just gonna try to break up shovel off in here. Excuse me, mate. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't want to deal with both of you. Oh, tell me I don't need to use that. I want the other one to come up. Ah, uh, mate! Just die, will ya? Bloody hell. Around that instead of asterisk, that's a good accent. As opposed to what I've been doing all night, not a good accent. Uh, I know that we can use the torch here. Well, does it actually hurt them? I've just been using it to look around, but if it actually hurts them, that's something else. <laughs> But I can't actually. Boy, I mean, it, it keeps them there. But. Oh, well, could you swing the thing, mate? Ah. Uh, pack a wall up. No, not what I wanted. Absolutely not what I wanted. Uh, mm. Not gonna give him the tickler. It, repair the holes. Right, we got a workbench here, sneaky shoes. <laughs> These things, they make you go real quiet when you put them on your feet. I call them sneakers. I better patch this hole up before I have any uninvited <coughs> visitors. Excuse me. That's not an easy voice to do. <coughs> I guess someone got out that way, which means someone could get in. Better patch this before I get unwanted guests. <sighs> Good. Now I can come back here with the minimum of fuss. Uh, I feel sort of bad take for any them. of these. This was their home. I suppose I don't feel bad enough to turn off the lights, though. They're coming. Well, maybe should have thought of that before they started attacking me. I would have been fine sharing it with them.
anyway, Maba, I hope you're doing all right tonight. Thank you for attempting to help me, even though I only about half listened, if that. Maybe one quarter listened. Is something taking a piss over here? Ah, uh, all right. Let's get out of here and pay a visit to Dr. Faraday. Uh, which would be... There. House of the Inventor. It won't be a stylish marriage. A little surprise he's still on it since I uh, took all the supplies. But you'll, you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Just in case they don't like me over here, we'll just walk here. That was a little. She just sprinted out there. What have we got today, Uncle Jack? Every now and then, you hear someone talk about downers. What's a downer? Well, a downer is someone who simply isn't taking their joy. His person endangers the mental health of everyone around by bringing them down. He or she may try to draw you into a conversation about long ago events. Or he may try to convince you that his life is not happy. Or even that your life is not happy. <laughs> Don't be fooled. The moment you realize you're talking to a diner, you should stop listening to him right away. He needs help, and listening to him won't help anyone. Try this easy test. Are you having a conversation that's bringing you down? Then what's the people talking Well, let's see, uh, getting close to the house. Excuse me, excuse me. Like that localized fog there. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think that would be an inventor's I house. I way to isolate Dr. Faraday. It must be extremely dangerous. Bet he's a harmless old fool. Just happens to know science. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone. Why won't you leave us alone? Not the greeting I expected to find. She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up. Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it because that's what I do, apparently. Uh, if that's Bill Nye, then he's lost his mind even more than he actually but has fucked. in current modern the day. She's going to kill us. She's going to tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her and... Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new vow? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... house boys. <laughs> Battle of Flowers, best in show. Alright, find a vow for James. Oh, well, I'll leave you there. Like... Like this, this valve that was just right out here, James. Yeah, right, pronouns. Uh, mate. Would you like this? Oh, Yoink. brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. I don't want Roger to give me Maybe a hug. The professor can help you too. Not a dance hall, this is not a dance pole. What the bloody hell? Be better, thanks. Well, I'm gonna pretend I never saw that. You take your joy oh, bloody hell, just get out of here. Um, why have they locked up here? And why? Um, 
Right, uh, well, we'll get that gas mask on. I, uh, apparently shouldn't have done whatever I did. Take that back off so we're not wasting it. Latin. Blood under the door. Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage. And impedimentis, to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Arthur's oh, a dick. Fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When when you learn ge when you I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> uh okay. Let's see, yeah. So that's open again just on that, but... Uh, anything here? Roger loves James, very sweet. Don't know what the hell doing around here. Don't need the rotten apple, we'll take the teacup. Faraday cage. Clever. Right, yeah. Yeah, I see that. There's a lot of joy sensors around here. I think they expect that Dr. Faraday is going to be a downer, and so they want to keep harassing her about it. Let's see, transfer tube. Oh, we're not grabbing that. Keep hands clear. Um, press the button. Hello? Oh, hello. You're not James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in. What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or peepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah. Well, I've noticed the police boxes before. Please, will you let me out? Hmm. How? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. Well, Arthur, you gotta um, help her, so then she'll help you. Until I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, fair enough. Sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motoring. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Right! Oh, okay. Motoline Harvester. Get a bucket of Motoline. Uh, okay. You take your joy immediately. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's good. Um, let's see, what have we... Is this a utility item? 
Also, what is Rick the Stunt Duck do? Um. This is an odd duck indeed, so odd that everyone will tend to pay attention to it for a few precious moments. It attracts the attention of multiple targets and leads them away when brown. Right, alright, good to know. Rick the Stunt Duck is very important. Um. It's crafting. Uh, good. Quest items. Um, where is the harvester? Eh. Bloody hell, I'm just blind here. I can't even see anything that even looks right. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, does this go here? Quest item. Maybe I just when I see a motoline spill, I just hit it and now now I now I have that. Um get rid of that. Eat that. And uh Right. Right, says there's a motoline leak out here. Either she's as brilliant as Sally and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used no to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? Mate. Right, I'm seeing the. F that's where you saw the word Faraday Cage. It's the name of the quest that's tracked on the right. Obviously, I'm not paying attention to things. Uh, that is... Oh, bloody hell, that's a m kilometer away. Dear Inspector, the clever bird refused to peck at the nice morsels we offered her. Offered her. I fear she plans to take wing. You know what happens if the ravens flee the tower. I took the precaution of preparing a lovely golden cage at the location we discussed where she can continue to peck. Would you mind conducting her to a new habitat? Of course, we'll need one or two caretakers to keep her feeder filled and change the newspaper. I know a couple of confirmed bachelors who are perfect. Dare not make a peep themselves and they're too stupid to open a cage by themselves. We of the executive committee appreciate all you do. Yours truly, B. Right, was looking at the map. Um, oh, bloody hell. Um, no. Stop. Where? Where? Oh, that's a distance. Right, we're going for a trek then. May as well go for a full on run. As long as we've got uh, hydration, we can have a nice uh, run with the stamina. Oh, oh, careful. Be a long way down. Grab a bunch of these while we're at it. Keep heading dead north. It's glowing. Oh, oh, it's... oh, lilies! Right. Didn't mean to start digging up lilies, but uh, good. Oh, maybe I should actually grab the lily bulbs afterward. Where was the other one? Don't want it to go to waste. Oh well. Um, got what we need for that. It's quite pretty when we're not being attacked by plagues. Agreed. It's gorgeous out here in the Garden District. Are we doing that? Alright, almost halfway there. Not doing so bad. Stop. Grab a few. Yeah. We're gonna need to find more sources of water pretty soon. Also, the the memory gauge on the joy never decreases. Um, because I know we took it a couple times when we had to. 
and the uh, memory loss gauge in the upper left is filled up and has not gone down for quite some time. Right, half a kilometer left. Still have plenty of time to. Uh, look at all that! Brilliant! Oh, I like that. I'm pretty sure that's just Skybox out there. Uh, like, that's not the actual uh, map. It's probably dynamically loaded, at least at the bridges. I haven't noticed loading screens, though, aside from when we go to uh, escape hatch areas. This is where we gotta go, we get a bucket of motoline. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like me. Oh, hell. Bit of a ditch there, mate. Be careful. just goes, doesn't it? Stop with the bleeding waypoints. Oh, this is a big map. Right, so we have uh, some more areas here. Day for it. Who was Uncle Jack before he was Uncle Jack? Oh, that's that's bloody well worth asking. I hadn't even thought of the question before. Get your own bloody pump. Right. Leave my friend alone. What? Uh, don't know what you're talking about, mate. With your pump and your friends. Oh, buddy. What the hell? What are you on about me? Oh, is that a water pump? I don't want that. If it's a water pump, I want that. Gotta fill up on stuff for hydration. I feel like I run out of that a lot sooner. Especially if I can't keep finding scotch around. Wait, put those dukes away. I'm not. Tr Why are you saying I'm trespassing? Bloody hell. Right, it's the water pump. Right, that was not what I meant to do. Great. Well, we'll just come back for him later. I know we're not here for water, but... thing is, if they see the body there, they might start freaking out, kind of like last time. Oh, prodigious lungs, aye, right. That was uh, something else. Disarm tin can alarm. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. But he tore his eyes out anyway, didn't he? Right! Nope. Don't mind me. Alright, so we got another one up on a bench. Once 
When did it all start to fall apart? It worked for a decade and a half, didn't it? Right, he gets up, he walks that way. Let's get a glimpse of uh, what he's looking like. We'll just stand here, like a totally normal person. So we've got plenty of time to fill canteens. Didn't notice nothing. Of course you can have your cake and eat it too. Where's the paradox? Oh hell. At least I don't have to wear that idiotic mask anymore. Get your own bloody pump. Right. Are you coming for me? Oh bloody hell. Just real bad at seeing where I go. So we are gonna have to take this bloke out. Let's figure out what they need. They're going to look before they even have to ask. I felt safer that way. God, it feels awful to say it. It's worse not to. <gasps> this won't take a minute. All the canteens I have, and uh, all right, onward to find uh, the motor lean around here. 